When We Were Very Young, A. A. Milne, The Four Friends. Ernest was an elephant, a great big fellow. Leonard was a lion with a six-foot tail. George was a goat, and his beard was yellow, and James was a very small snail. Leonard had a stall and a great big strong one. Ernest had a manger, and its walls were thick. George found a pen, but I think it was the wrong one, and James sat down on a brick. Ernest started trumpeting and cracked his manger. Leonard started roaring and shivered his stall. James gave the huffle of a snail in danger, and nobody heard him at all. Ernest started trumpeting and raised such a rumpus. Leonard started roaring and trying to kick. James went to journey with the goat's new compass, and he reached the end of his brick. Ernest was an elephant and very well-intentioned. Leonard was a lion with a brave new tail. George was a goat, as I think I have mentioned. But James was only a snail. Lines and Squares Whenever I walk in a London street, I'm ever so careful to watch my feet, and I keep in the squares and the masses of bears who wait at the corners all ready to eat the sillies who tread on the lines of the street, go back to their lairs, and I say to them, Bears, just look how I'm walking in all of the squares and the little bears growl to each other he's mine as soon as he's silly and steps on a line and some of the bigger bears try to pretend that they came round the corner to look for a friend and they try to pretend that nobody cares whether you walk on the lines or squares but only the sillies believe their talk it's ever so important how you walk and it's ever so jolly to call out bears just watch me walking in all the squares brownie in a corner of the bedroom is a great big curtain. Someone lives behind it, but I don't know who. I think it is a brownie, but I'm not quite certain. Nanny isn't certain, too. I looked behind the curtain, but he went so quickly. Brownies never wait to say, how do you do? They wriggle off at once because they're all so tickly. Nanny says they're tickly, too. Independence. I never did, I never did, I never did like now take care, dear. I never did, I never did, I never did want hold my hand. I never did, I never did, I never did think much of not up there, dear. It's no good saying it. They don't understand. Nursery Chairs One of the chairs is South America. One of the chairs is a ship at sea. One is a cage for a great big lion, and one is a chair for me. The First Chair when I go up the Amazon, I stop at night and fire a gun to call my faithful band. And Indians in twos and threes come silently between the trees and wait for me to land. And if I do not want to play with any Indians today, I simply wave my hand and then they turn and go away. They always understand. The Second Chair I'm a great big lion in my cage, and I often frighten Nanny with a roar. Then I hold her very tight and tell her not to be so frightened, and she doesn't be so frightened any more. The Third Chair When I am in my ship, I see the other ships go sailing by. A sailor leans and calls to me as his ship goes sailing by. Across the sea he leans to me, above the winds I hear him cry. Is this the way to round the world? He calls as he goes by. The fourth chair. Whenever I sit in a high chair for breakfast or dinner or tea, I try to pretend that it's my chair and that I am a baby of three. Shall I go off to South America? Shall I put out in my ship to sea? Or get in my cage and be lions and tigers? Or shall I be only me?